Hi, my friends. My name is Ethan Crossbar. I'm the chef over at Modern Barn Restaurant, owned by the Lovanos family in Armonk, New York. Today, I am making for you a roasted New York strip with Dutch's bone marrow mashed potato, glazed baby carrots, and a Bordelais sauce. So let me take you through this. The marrow's actually inside the bone, and I pop it out. And what we have over here is rendered out very slowly is the marrow fat. I take these Yukon Gold potatoes, and I bake them in the oven until they're completely soft at 350 degrees. While they are warm, what I then do is I take the potatoes out of the skin. And essentially what we're doing here is making a mashed potato. The food mill, all essentially what it does is it kind of breaks down the potato and makes it very, very fine. It makes them smooth. I then peel the potato off. So what I do next is I put an egg yolk in it, a little salt, some smoked mozzarella cheese, pepper, and I take the, the fat from the bone, I drizzle it right in. All right, so I then put it in the piping bag. Essentially now, I take these potatoes and I pipe them right in there. All right, so with the leftover marrow fat, I then pour it into our pan, our saute pan. I'm now seasoning my New York strip. I got a pan nice and hot. Now getting nice caramelization on the meat. At this point, when I got all three sides of the steaks nicely seared off and I got some nice caramel color, I then put it on its fourth side. And I bring it over to the oven and pop it right in the oven. What we have here is a very classic French sauce. It's called Bordelais sauce. What we have here are baby carrots. I like leaving the greens on. I then take chicken stock I cook them down into the chicken stock until the baby carrots are fully cooked. Uh, season it up with salt and pepper. And at the end, I glaze it with a little butter. I just pulled the steak out of the oven. I then pull a good amount of butter. I crush the garlic. Thyme and garlic right in there. What this does, you're infusing that garlic, thyme, and butter into the steak. Then what we like to do is we need to let the steak rest for pretty much half the amount of time it's cooked for. What you see next to it is the bone marrow mashed potatoes that we just pulled out of the oven. Now we take our potato, we put it on the plate, we slice the meat, and now it's time to have the fun part, which is assembling the dish for you. And the last part is the sauce. Little drizzle of sauce right around it. And that, my friends, at the Hudson River Museum is your dinner for tonight. Bon appetit.